Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can reassign keys to different functions. I already recorded a video about that, how to, for example, use the reverse throttling functionality, but that has changed uh, after a recent update, as far as I figured out. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign button five and button 10 to both the reverse throttling functionality. And to do that, you need to set the filter to all and then search for reverse. The reason I want to change this is in some cases you will get the message, hey, there's no push truck available. In that case, you can, I would say, kind of abuse reverse throttling functionality to push the aircraft back, right? There are also different options, like for example, using one of the community pushback tools, which allow you to push back the aircraft even when there's no pushback uh, truck available. I'm gonna just show with this functionality. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say throttle the tr uh, throttle reverse trust and we're gonna assign it to a button. And you can do that via two methods. You can either select the button here from the list or you can press the uh, magnifier and then press the button itself. Here you can see that the button is already assigned to something else. And you can say, okay, hey, uh, I want to clear the current input, but if you don't do that, for example, if you select validate, it will simply do it. It will create a new profile, but the bad thing about it that it doesn't clear the previous uh, input, which means in this case that uh, button five is still assigned to the flaps. And if we would search for the flaps, you will see that the decrease of the flaps is still button number five. So if we would now go back into the game, um, let me do that. Um, let's hit apply and save. Go back to the game. And if I now would put uh, or push button 5, well, I first need to push button 10, you will see that it does control the flaps instead of the reverse throttling, which is a little bit above this. So it shows from a different angle, right? So we're gonna push down the flaps, but when pushing back, or when I would say uh, resetting the flaps using button five, it does reset the flaps, but we would expect it would go in reverse throttling. So the way you can fix this is simply by going into the uh, control options again, and then search for flaps. Uh, to be specifically, you can find it on decrease flaps and you can say clear the current input. Once you've done that and press validate, you can see that the entry is really gone. So let's do the same thing for button number 10, clear the current input, validate, then it's all okay. So now we can search for reverse again and we can uh, change, for example, this one to button number 10. We can say validate and then I hit apply and save. And now when we go back to the aircraft and press the button, uh, let's first press button 10 and you can see it goes in reverse. And if we would press button five once, which sets it in reverse mode, we'll also go back. So that's the difference, right? Button five is reverse mode. While uh, button 10, you need to keep pushing it to go into reverse mode, but as soon as you, I would say, uh, leave it or unpress it or release the key, better wording, it will go into the opposite direction. So in this how to, we discussed how you can correctly remap uh, the buttons to new functionalities. So it's really critical that you clear the previous uh, function assigned to a button or key because else it might not work and it will keep using the old functionality. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about my new videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.